In this video we're going to interpret a sentence with quotient in it and and some negatives, some integers, and then we'll uh, find the answer. So we'll do this, I'll do this example 1a, we'll do it together and then I'll try, you, hopefully you can do this one, 1b, and then we'll do example 2a together and then hopefully you can do example 2b by yourself. So we'll start with 1a, we'll do this one together. Do not write this down, you don't have to write it down, just see if you can get the answer. So the quotient of negative 6 and negative 18 is what number? So quotient. Quotient means the answer to a division problem. So it's basically saying the answer to a division problem between with negative 6 and negative 18 is what number? Now the question is do you put which do you put over what? Right? you always take this number and divide it by this one. So when you have a sentence with quotient, you always take this negative 6 divided by negative 18. You always take the negative 6, you divide it by the negative 18. The first number divided by the second number. Or as a fraction would be negative 6 over negative 18. Okay? Now what's negative over negative? What's the sign? Negative divided by negative is positive. 6 into 6 goes once, 6 into 18 goes 3 times, so positive 1 third, or 1 third is the answer, right? 1 third. Okay. Okay, so write, do this one now. What is the quotient of 49 and negative 7? Press pause if you need time, I guess. But hopefully you can do this one by yourself. So the quotient of 49 and negative 7. You're finding the answer to a division problem between 49 and negative 7. And when you see quotient, it means that they want the first number divided by the second number. They want 49 divided by negative 7. And you can write that as a fraction, I guess, or whatever. But I'm going to do it as a fraction anyway. You don't have to do it as a fraction, but you can just get the answer. Anyway, it's a positive divided by a negative. The sign is negative. And 49 over 7 is 7. So answer negative 7, right? Example 2b. If negative 8 is added to the quotient of negative 45 and negative 9, what number results? Why don't we get the quotient of that and that first, right? So can you do this part? Just do the quotient of negative 45 and negative 9. Can you do that much? So that would be negative 45 divided by negative 9, right? Negative 45 divided by negative 9, right? What does that give you, by the way? Is it negative or positive? Positive, right? And 45 over 9 is? 5. Now, let's deal with this part. If negative 8 is added to the quotient. So the quotient of negative 45 and negative 9 is simply the number 5. right? If negative 8 is added to that, so you're adding negative 8 to that, right? If negative 8 is added to 5, 5 is the quotient of negative 45 and negative 9. So we're adding negative 8 to that number, right? Of course, we could have added it up here as well if we wanted to, just to write it all out as one thing. Anyway, the answer is negative 5, or 5 plus negative 8, 5 positives, 8 negatives, negative 3, right? So can you do this one? If the quotient of 39 and negative 13 is decreased by 10, what number results? So press pause and do it. You don't have to write out the words, you can just do the answer, get the answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll help you now. I'm first going to get the quotient of 39 and negative 13. That would be 39 divided by negative 13. Okay. 
positive over negative is negative. And 39 over 13 is 3. So negative 3. Now we have to deal with what this means. Decreased by 10. That is decreased by 10. What does it mean to decrease something by 10? Just as an aside, just for fun, if you, if you took the number um, 50, how would you decrease that by 10? How would you decrease it by 10? 50 decreased by 10 gives 40, right? How did you get 40? You subtracted 10. If you subtract 10, you'll decrease it by 10. Uh, take the number um, 100. How would I decrease 100 by 10? Decrease it by 10, I get 90. Or in other words, subtract 10. So to decrease this by 10, we subtract 10. Okay, So we subtract 10. So the quotient of 39 and negative 13 is the number negative 3. And then that is decreased by 10. So you're in debt by $3. And you spend $10. What's the balance now? decreased by 10. You can change that to plus negative if you want. It says negative 3 plus negative 10. 3 negatives and 10 negatives make 13 negatives. Right? Negative 13. 